I was just going to do some aluminum welding with the, my longevity TIG weld 250 ACDC TIG welder. Man, that's a mouthful. And I got an email last night from a guy back in New York City, and he said, hey, wait a minute. You changed something on the bottle. Could you talk about that? I have no idea what that thing is. So I thought, okay, sure, why not? What he saw, where'd it go? There it is. What he saw was this. This is a pressure regulator. It has the bottle pressure. It has the working pressure. So wherever you adjust this, that's what shows on this gauge and comes out here to go to the machine. The one I put on is called a flow meter. So it has a set pressure regulator, nothing you can do with it, it's set by the factory. It shows you what's in the bottle, but this has a little ball inside that goes up and down and actually shows you the amount of gas that's coming out of the end of the torch in liters per minute, yeah, liters per minute, and it's adjustable here. So depending on what procedure you're doing, are you inside, are you outside, what kind of metal are you working on, it's all adjustable here, and you can tell exactly how much gas you're using rather than kind of guessing by your pressure, your working pressure, and just going by how much is left in the bottle. Yeah. How does that help to know how much gas? Well. You can actually have too much gas, especially if you're working in like an enclosed area. You can have too much gas. You can have too much pressure where it messes up the well. I mean, it makes all, all kinds of little problems for you. Um, if you read your book on your machine or on the process that you're doing, it gives recommendations for how much gas flow to actually have. And this way you can tell, are you using too much, too little? You know, you can see how it shows up on the weld, but it just gives you a better idea how much gas you're actually using. And it takes away one gauge, sort of. <laughs> it's just better. It's better. Trust me, it's better. You can get these, um, you can get these at the welding stores. I actually found them on Amazon. You can get them at that horrible freight place. I mean, there's lots of them available out there. Not these, these. <laughs> Put this down. <laughs> These are actually rated for different types of machines, whether it's a TIG welder or a MIG welder. They have different graduations on them for the bigger machines or the smaller machines. I mean, you know, there's, there's lots of them out there. Do your research. Get the right one for what you're doing, and it'll make your life a little bit easier. Let me show you the ball going up and down. That's kind of fun. So you can see, if you look right here in the bottom, you can see the ball at rest inside. See it in there? No. Okay. So watch what happens when I pull the trigger on the torch. And what does the knob regulate? Well, the knob actually regulates the amount of volume of air or of gas that comes out of the bottle through the meter and then goes to the machine. You're not regulating pressure, you're regulating volume. So you get the right volume coming out of the end of the torch. And it's that easy to set. You know, I, I run this one uh, normally between about eight and 12 liters a minute. You know, depending on whether, whether I'm working on the floor, I'm working on the bench, I'm working overhead. You know, I'll, I'll tweak it one way or another a little bit just to, to clean up the weld a little. That's what are, it. What do they what do they cost? Uh, you can buy these uh, anywhere from I, I saw them at uh, um, at Horrible Freight for about eighty dollars, up to a couple hundred, three hundred, you know, depending on on which model you get. They even have them with two outlets on them, so you can set it up for two different machines. You can have your TIG welder and your your plasma cutter set up to run off the same bottle and have two different flow meters. You know, those are the more expensive ones. What, what are the other kind, the more traditional kind cost? 
they're a little bit cheaper than that. You know, I would say they're maybe 25% cheaper. You know, the, the old, the, the old regulator style, where the, where they just show you the working pressure as opposed to the working volume. That's it. Hope that answers your question. I'll see you next time.